Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can protect your project, your Codices project using a password. Uh, so to do this I already have a project opened here. So uh, for now I can easily close the project and then open it again okay, from the list of recent projects that was here. I can open it without any problem and if I send this to anybody else, he or she can open the project easily and start to modify it or use it. Uh, but sometimes when you, you want to protect your project, you don't want to have everyone having access to your project, but you want to have some kind of protection for your project, using a password would be one way. Uh, to add a password to, pro to protect your project, you can go to the project and in the project settings you can go to the security part and enable the project file encryption if you check it you have two options I will go for the password or now the current password is empty by default so there is nothing so then you can define a new password I will give an easy password to remember it easy for me indeed and then pressing on OK, saving the project. Now, if I close the project and uh, try to open it again, it was this project, uh, Codices will ask for the password. If I enter it incorrectly, like this trial, I will not be able to open it because the password is not correct. But if I try it again, and enter the password correctly then the project will be opened for me uh, so maybe later on you would need to remove this password because if you are working on it for a, a for a couple of days you are developing it you may it may be easier to remove the password instead of inserting it every time so you can go to the project settings again in the security part now you have a current password which is what I have entered here and instead of, for the new password and the confirm new password you can keep it uh, empty then by clicking on OK saving the ah, sorry yes saving the project I will close the project and this time if I try to open the project again I will be asked for the password again but time I can just click on the OK without the need to enter any password. Uh, OK, so that's all for this video. I hope this would be helpful for some of you, at least if you want to transfer your project between the friends and uh, work on it. And at the same time, you don't want to have everybody having access to the code. This would be a nice approach. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye for now.